Students, look what we made. It's like a diamond floating in space. We have all these curved lines made with a straight line with a ruler and a pencil. So let's move on to the next thing. So when we turn here to the next page, number four, it has a lot of writing and a lot of reading. So I'm just gonna read it to you. It says one point perspective. One point perspective is a type of linear perspective that uses single vanishing point to create the illusion of depth in an artwork. So there's a single point here, makes the railroads and the telephone wires and the fence all seem like they're going back in space. Uh, for this drawing here, it looks like we're looking down from a helicopter into a city. There's one point right there that all the lines go to. Or this one, a room, a room, okay? We need to know some vocab here. Uh, for one point perspective. When I'm talking about the vanishing point, the vanishing point is a point on the horizon line where all diagonal lines meet. So if we look down here, that's the vanishing point. All these diagonal lines are gonna go to the vanishing point. Uh, the next one is horizontal lines. Lines that are drawn from side to side to keep, uh, sorry, side to side level with the horizon. So. This would be horizon line, and all our lines that are going left to right are gonna be perfectly straight. They're not gonna be diagonal. Next one is vertical lines. Vertical lines are lines that go up and down. So up and down, up and down, up and down, and those are gonna be perfectly straight. Diagonal lines are lines that are drawn neither vertical or horizontal. So they not go in perfectly straight, and they're not perfectly left to right, um, but rather slanted at an angle like that. These diagonal lines help create the illusion of space by going to that vanishing point. So, one point perspective rules. You may always, you're sorry, you must always use a ruler. We have them, make it your best friend for this. Make it easier on yourself, use one. If you're not using one, it's gonna be super hard. Uh, also use a pencil, make it really easy on yourself so you can erase things, okay? Um, the straighter your horizontal and vertical and diagonal lines are, the better your work is going to look. This is a creating the illusion of something. And so when we want the illusion of space, of going back, any of these things, the straighter the lines, the more it's going to make it look realistic. All diagonal lines must go to the vanishing point. All diagonal lines must go to the vanishing point. Um, draw lightly at first with a pencil, uh, you will have to erase and it will be easier to erase light lines rather than dark ones. Makes sense. So that's some information that you should know about One Point Perspective. Here, we're gonna use it. So this line right here is our horizon line. Horizon, I think that's horizon line. This is our vanishing point, okay? Here it says, use the ruler. Please connect the corners of each box to the vanishing point. Please do not draw through the gray square. Once you've connected the corners to the vanishing point, then use straight vertical lines and horizontal lines to make a cube. At the bottom of the page, it says tips and tricks. When drawing either horizontal or vertical line, if the line edge, if you line the edge of your ruler up with the side of your paper or the top or the bottom, you are gonna have straighter lines. So let's look at that. I wanna draw from the corner. I already have one here drawn in for me. So I'm gonna draw in from the corner here and here. I would draw from the corner here to the vanishing point, but that is gonna draw through the box. And if I draw this line in like this, so I'm lining up that corner with the vanishing point here, drawing it there. Ta-da! Got a little triangle there. Then I will draw from that corner to that corner. Ta-da! Now it looks like a giant rectangle. If I was to draw this line right here from that corner on the other side of the gray, gray box, it's gonna look like it's see-through. Now, if I want a see-through box, that's great. But if I don't, I might wanna erase that, okay? So I don't want an a see-through box. I just want a regular box looking like it's shooting out from space, okay? Now, I need to figure out how wide I want this box. And what I'm gonna do is line up my ruler with the side of the paper, and I'm lining it up with that line right there. And we're just gonna move it down. Do I want that wide? No. Do I want that wide? No. 
Don't want that wide. No. Don't want that wide. Okay. Once I want to find the width that I want it, I'm going to make sure it's lined up with the side of my paper. And when I do that, I'm going to connect this line to this line, like so. Ta-da! Now I got a bottom of my box. And I have a straight line, and I know it's straight because I use the side of my paper and my ruler to make it straight. Now that I have this corner right here, what I can do is take my ruler right here on the side, I'll put my little point on my pencil there, then line it up with the top of my page, and now I'm gonna connect these two lines, like so. Ta-da! Now I have a side and a bottom of the box. I can take my eraser, and I wanna show you, um, this is me drawing a little bit darker than I should, and when I draw too dark, you can still see a ghost image. And when I draw really dark like this one, it stands out even more. And then this one's just the pen or the, the printing of it. So now that I got this, I can say like, okay, maybe the sun is here. So if the sun is there, there would definitely be a shadow over here. Would there be a shadow underneath here? Probably not. Would there be a shadow on this side? Probably not. So. I know that there's bright and it's fine where it is. So now I'll go into the next one. Same thing, connecting the corners. So this corner to the vanishing point. Whoop. This corner to the vanishing point. Whoop. Uh, let's go this corner to the vanishing point. Now that I got these three lines in, I could do this one again and not draw it into the, the box, but on the outside. Uh, let's make a see-through box. So if I wanted to make a see-through box, so I line it up with this corner, but I'm gonna start my line over here and draw it to the vanishing point, okay? Now that I have this, I am going to figure out how wide do I want it? So I'll line it up with this side of the paper, line it up with this line, and then I'm gonna move it slowly down, slowly down, slowly down. How wide? Okay, I want it to be that long. So I'm gonna line up this side of the paper. I'm gonna draw a line from this line right here because it's this corner and this corner. I'm going to draw a line across so those lines connect right below. Like that. Ta-da, ta-da. Now that I got this point, I'm gonna take my ruler to the top of my page and line it up here. And then I'll connect this point up to this top line. Now I got myself a corner box. Do, do, do. I can erase this line going from that corner to the vanishing point, this corner as well, and underneath. Now I got this line that I drew here going through. So I need to figure out this corner. So this corner is going up. So I'm going to line it up with the top of my page. I know it's a corner and that's going up. And now it looks like I got a box that I could see through erase this line, because what I'm gonna do is pretend this box is open underneath it. And if it's open underneath, it's going to have some value on one side. Actually, not that side. Oops, sorry folks. M Mr. Matthews just forgetting how light works. This side is gonna have value, because this is the side that the sun does not touch. Okay, so that little corner is gonna have value. Boom. Now it looks like a box that you can look up into. And this side is gonna have a little bit of value, so I'll just hatch it, because the light is barely touching it. There you go. Now it looks like a box you can look up into. I got two of the four done. Now it's the same thing over again. So this corner, from this corner to the vanishing point, I'm gonna draw these a little bit lighter. This corner from the vanishing point, this corner to the vanishing point. Now, if your line doesn't get perfectly straight like that, might as well erase it. Because a bumpy line is gonna cause you the illusion, okay? Uh, if you don't like going from like the top of this, maybe you wanna figure out like the length of it, what I would do is put your ruler on the side of the page, line it up with a line you already have, and then move it to where you want it to be, and connect those lines, like so. Once you have one of those lines, you'll have the top point once you do that, you line it up with the side of your paper on the corner, and that'll get you a nice cheat.
to make a nice straight line. And now, with those lighter lines, you can see they disappear more. Like, look at that. That's way better than these ones standing out. So when you draw lighter, it makes it a little bit easier to erase. We got one last box, corners to the vanishing point, corner, boop, vanishing point, boop, line, holding my ruler firm. I made that way too dark. That's gonna be harder to erase. So I'll do that again with this one, just lighter. Boop. And then this last one, from the corner to there. And now I can make this really long. So let me do that. Line it up with the bottom of the page, line up with that line, move it over where I want it to, line up with the bottom of my page. Boop. That's how long that one's gonna be. Line up with the side once I get that line. So I'm finding that corner right there. And I'm going to line my ruler up. Go across and connect those. Boom! Now, I have one, two, three, four boxes. They're all different sizes, different shape. If I wanna make this one look like it's going in, this corner right here, Grab my ruler, go to that corner, draw a perfectly straight horizontal line. So using the edge of the paper, draw a line over to that line. Boom, now it looks like you're going in. And I can put some value. The sun's not touching the inside of this box. So I'll put some value in here. And I'll make it look the illusion that you can go into this space a little bit more. And then maybe some hatching lines. There you go. You got it. You got it. Um, that is this. That is basically how you're going to create boxes and sphere. Well, not spheres. Boxes and, and different shapes in a area. We're going to use this skill to uh, work on the next things coming up. Okay? So if you need to, pause this. Uh, wash that again, slow it down, whatever you need. Uh, once you're done, unpause it and we'll move on to the next thing.